And now I introduce uh, Dr. Kiran Parekh. He's one of the directors over here. He's a board member of the Sri Mangal Mandir. And he runs the educational program over here at Mangal Mandir. This morning he had a medical clinic over here from 9, nine o'clock to 1 o'clock. So I request uh, Dr. Kiran Parekh to come and say a few words. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. I'm Kiran Parikh, and I'm not a director or like a big person in the Mangal Mandir, but I'm one of the volunteers working here. And when uh, Suresh Ji just approached us to select our Mandir as a place for this kind of a, such a dynamic subject, we were very excited. So our board said, yes, this kind of a thing it should happen here. And we had no problem in having it. And it's so nice to deal with Suresh Bhai. And uh, I also, we, on behalf of Mangal Mandir, we had thanked the Mark Foundation for selecting this place. So I was not prepared. He just told me yesterday, send me my bio. I, I'm not a big person. I'll get two, so two or three lines. I send a bio to Suresh Ji. And I said, what, what can I say about this Hinduism? So I was preparing the topic for we did on the uh, Sunday school here for uh, our kids here. So I was preparing a topic and then I came about this world religions and where the Hinduism is about 10 years ago, where is it now, where is it going to go in another 30, 40 years. So I pulled some slides and so this may be something, maybe some interest. So if you look at this one here, this is the world religion. Everybody can see it, okay. So as we know, starting from the Christianity, Buddhism, Sikhism, as we know, Islam, Hinduism, all those are about 12 major religions here. And this is what we see the percentage wise right now. You know Christianity is about 33%, Hinduism is 13%. But if you look at this, what was the number in 2007? About the same number we have. We go up here. In 2015, the number is good. Our number does not change much here. Maybe like a 15%. It does not change much. But when we go a little further here, put that here, in 2016, the Hinduism is not, I'm sorry, don't have a pointer here, but Hinduism is not going to go much in a number, or even a percentage wise also. But look at the other numbers here. Oh, thank you. So if you look at this Hindu number here, so it is about 15% in 2015, and it's going to, in 2016, 60 is going to be 14%. So I think we are not, at the same time, even the Christianity is not going up here. But sorry to say this, Muslims here, from 24 to 31%. So this is just a percentage one, but they're going to go in more in billions and billions also. So this is a kind of a ground, background we have, or like a, we have like a something, we can do some impact and how things can, can work on it. So, as they say, Islam is the fastest growing religion and see how it is like from 2010, 2016, how much is going to go? 7.3% will be up on this. And at the same time, Hindus, 24-34%. Now, just going back into the history, I mean, this, this first of all, this subject was very nice. I have to look up for the spare, for the meaning of the pluralistic. I knew the plural in medical term with a long line. <laughs> but I didn't know what this plural is about. So the pluralistic, I think, is a very nice topic. I just look, Google something, I looked at the Webster Dictionary and uh, uh, also. So it was a very nice meaning. It says a pluralistic approach is like a coexisting in the same society. Correct me if I'm wrong. I just pulled up from the, from the Google cover, you know, master here. A system recognizing more than one ultimate principle. And this is our also, Vatu Dev to Kutumbakam. And the respect for every living being. So this is what I could, could understand what the pluralistic approach is. I'll, I'll be happy to hear for what exactly it means also. So going back in the history, I think we owe to some very, very historical people in our Hinduism who did this. Like in the early 8th century, Adi Shankaracharya, he was the one who spread our Hinduism all over, not only in India, but in other, other parts of the world too. So if you look at it, the early 8th century philosopher and theologian who consolidated the doctrine of the Advaita Vedanta and also unified and established main thoughts of the Hinduism. And so going back about recently also, who was the next person? This was him. 
It was him who brought the Hinduism to our country here in the United States. And I'm sure you probably have not talking to Vivekananda. And he's the one who, who sorry. So he's the one that is saying, take this in your life. If you win, you may live. If you lose, you may die. This is what he told. This is where our challenge is for our Hinduism to sustain. And looking at those numbers was really something. And this is his world parliament in 1893. What he made a big impact on the, uh, especially Americans. And then you all know the history. He went 10 years uh, everywhere in the, in the world also. So this is what he did in the West. He, he received well in 1893 World Parliament Religion in Chicago, where he delivered a series of lectures. And people know it. To listen to his lectures, they used to wait till the end of the day. And those organizers, they used to keep this at the, till the end so that all the people will stay there. So that was his impact on the world, how he came to the world religion. And also, he earned a wide applause for beginning his address with the famous world, Sisters and Brothers of America. This became the really line here. Everybody said, everybody started talking about this line on that day. And within a few years of the parliament, he had started Vedic centers in New York, London, and like at a very, very major university. So this is a man we owe to, other than the Adi Shankaracharya also. So this was just a little bit, I think I, you know, just go with the history also. Again, we thank, really, the government, thanks very much to uh, uh, Mark Foundation and all of you to be here. Uh, and we look forward to be working with you in the future also. By the way, next year, this Monday will be celebrating the 25th uh, anniversary. So we'll be here for 25 years. That will be happening next year. And this is all because of the support from you and all of our Indian community, especially all of our Hindus. Thank you so much.